The Mizzou football team did not go down without a fight. The Tigers trailed by multiple scores three different times against Kentucky. Mizzou made the plays to get back in the game, but ultimately the Tigers couldn't catch the Cats. The fans at Kroger Field were ready to go for the SEC opener. It was a road game. It was whatever. But it took the Tigers a while to get going. Like I said, we didn't start fast. We didn't execute early. And then you look up and it's 14-0. Mizzou finally woke up late in the first quarter. We didn't let up. We didn't give up when we were down two touchdowns. We, we kept competing, and I'm proud of that. But Kentucky quickly peeled off another touchdown. We didn't do very much anything right. It was nearly a three-score game when the momentum finally shifted after Chad Bailey forced a fumble at the goal line. I'm proud of my football team. Really freaking proud of them. Connor Bazelak capped off the first half with one of his four touchdown passes. I mean, they fought their butt off in a hostile crowd down. But after a quick interception in the third, Chris Rodriguez scored his second of three touchdowns on the night. We got our butt whipped up front. He finished with more than 200 yards rushing. People just not executing, you know, people not in the right gap. But Mizzou kept on pushing. Tyler Beatty finished with 149 total yards and this touchdown that tied the game in the fourth quarter. He's got great vision. Um, you know, he, he really runs hard. He's been doing a great job of, of being that guy for us. Kentucky would answer to go back up a score. But just when he thought Mizzou was out, a blocked field goal by Blaze Aldridge gave the Tigers a chance to tie the game at the end. Just another drive. Basilak's fourth down prayer came up empty. It'll be sore tomorrow, but more importantly, we'll be pissed off because we lost. And Kentucky came out on top. No reason to hang our heads. There's no reason to, you know, panic. Anybody needs to panic or jump on Twitter and go crazy, like, relax. It's week two on the road. That's a football team that's going to continue to improve and get better. They're going to fight to improve and get better. I don't know how many games we're going to win, but I know we're going to fight. The Tigers have now lost six of their last seven games against the Wildcats. And since Mizzou joined the SEC, the winner of this head-to-head -head matchup has always finished higher in the SEC standings. We'll see if that stays true this year. Reporting from Kroger Field in Lexington, Kentucky, Andrew Kaufman, ABC 17 Sports. Well, on more of a positive note, Mizzou was much better on third downs on Saturday after going one for 11 in week one. Mizzou was eight for 15 against the Wildcats. On the flip side, though, the Tigers defense allowed Kentucky to convert seven of 12 third downs. It's also Mizzou's second straight game, giving up more than 475 yards of total offense. The Tigers have some work to do, but Coach Drinkwitz made it clear this game will not define the season. It's one football game of 12 that we fought our butt off. We played hard. We had an opportunity. We didn't get it done. Um, but there's a lot of season left and a lot of fight left in this football team. I and mean, they could have easily, you know, in the first half, didn't stop them a single time on third down. They could have easily tucked their tail, and they didn't. I don't like the word victory when you just lost a game. But, you know, like I said earlier, I'm proud of this team and how we fought and competed and, and took the punches they were throwing. Next up, Mizzou will return home to host SEMO this coming Saturday, September 18th. That is an 11 a.m. kickoff, so get up bright and early. But as always, we'll have highlights and reaction right here after the game.